Hey, what's going on guys? I just saw the new Suicide Squad, so I want to get this review why everything's fresh in my mind. And this movie is about the government doing the Starfish Project. I'd kind of compare this movie to the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, which is funny because it's the same tone and feel and atmosphere. It's directed by James Gunn, so you're getting basically a DC version of Guardians of the Galaxy. I think Idris Elba did a great job. Margaret Robbie, as usual. I think all the actors did pretty well. The polka dot guy was the funniest part of the whole movie. If you don't like like dark humor, I don't know if you like this too much, but it, it, it had a lot of action in it that was fun. Like the action wasn't like action; it was like comedy action, like a Lethal Weapon movie. Like one of the other funnier parts is John Cena and Idris Elba's character are having a competition. They're shooting guys in the woods and they're competing who can do a cooler kill. John Cena goes like this and he's like, oh, you miss. He's like, explosive bullets, dope as fuck. And it sounds silly, but seeing it on camera and seeing it in action is actually quite funny. So the movie had a lot of quips to it and a lot of funny humor that you could get behind, just like the Guardians of Galaxy movies, because if you like those, you'll love this. There is a little bit of a drag in there when they meet up with Margaret Robbie. She meets this prince guy, and my god, that's where the movie dragged, man. I was like, fuck. This scene with this guy was like 15 minutes long, and it was just it's something you don't care about at all. I, I'm not sure why it was added in there or in the script, but it didn't really help. I think it was honestly just there for screen time for her, because Harley Quinn's like probably the big draw to the movie, because she's a Batman villain. But she was kind of like a side character. She wasn't in it all that much. She does not carry the whole movie. The movie was fun. Good humor in it. Uh, Sylvester Stallone plays the voice of the shark. Viola Davis is a great actress. I wish she would have had more screen time in this, but I can understand why she didn't. She's mainly just the commander of the group, telling them what to do, and she holds the button to the detonators in their necks, and will kill them if they don't follow her orders. So I, I could see why she shouldn't hold more of the screen time than the Suicide Squad themselves. I appreciate the side characters because they're characters you don't see too often. It's not bringing in a villain you've seen a million times. They run on that starfish, big ass starfish, and they did it in a good way. It looks good. The special effects were great on it. It didn't look fake. It just looks really uh, clean, professional. You know, it's obvious it's Warner Brothers. I thought the movie could have shaved 15 minutes off. I think for this kind of humor, you don't want it to go on too long, but this movie went on just maybe a little bit that much too long you're definitely gonna like want to clock out by the end there is some very violent action in it so if you're sensitive to violence some of the violence in this is pretty pretty detailed is what i'm trying to say this guy gets cut in half he like literally gets cut in half and you see all of his guts come out they don't just cut away from it they show it so if you're sensitive to violence it's not for you i think they need to hit a two-hour runtime and they were forced to because in the middle there was just like Really not much that goes on. Little bits of stories sprinkled all the way through, but they try to stretch it out in like 35 minutes. I more feel like they didn't know what to do in that time, and they're like, well, we have to do something because we have to hit two hours. And I feel like they just ran out of steam in the middle. They only had what they wanted to do in the start and the end. And then the middle, they didn't know what the fuck to do with, so... Keep that in mind when you watch it. The middle drag's pretty bad. I'm going to grade the Suicide Squad Part 2 a C+. So if you guys are interested in watching this movie, it is available right now on streaming and Blu-ray to check out. Until then, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you movie fans on my next review.